welcome students i am dr smita sharma and today i will be teaching you a comparator so this is part of our chapter which is uh, which is named oscillator and we were discussing in the previous lecture we had discussed square wave generator now we will be discussing a comparator now what does comparator mean a comparator basically compares a signal voltage on one input of op amp with known voltage called the reference voltage on other input so comparator generally compares the two signal and if one is known then it can we can by the knowledge of by the help of comparator we can find out whether the uh, unknown voltage is higher than or lower than uh, the reference voltage it is very useful in many uh, in circuits such as digital interfacing smith trigger discriminators voltage level detectors and oscillators so uh, we'll why we are discussing here because Uh, it works on the same principle as we had discussed the stable multi vibrator here also we'll be using 741 ic op amp and with the help of that we'll be making comparator so comparator has very simple circuit uh, uh, you can see in the diagram this is non inverting comparator it is called non inverting comparator because the input voltage is being applied on the non inverting end and the reference voltage is applied on the inverting end in the diagram you can clearly see that there is no feedback given so any small voltage will uh, derive the output voltage to positive or negative saturation instantly so this is the basic principle that uh, is ba on which comparator is based also you can see in the diagram that two diodes are also shown d1 and d2 we'll be for discussing why they are uh, put here so uh, here in the diagram here this is the input waveforms and this is the output waveform this is the input waveform and this is the output waveform Uh, we'll be discussing both of these how these waveforms are formed so uh, figure shows an operational amplifier used as comparator a fixed reference voltage is applied to the inverting input and other time varying signal voltage is applied to the positive or non inverting input due to this arrangement the circuit is called non inverting comparator if the input voltage has be uh, was applied at uh, inverting end then it would have called then we would have called it inverting comparator now what happens here we know the operational amplifier amplifies the difference of the two voltages at the inverting and non inverting end so uh, either v reference will be greater than v input or it will be less than v input. so depending on whether v reference is less than or v reference is more than v input we get the output uh, the output will always be either plus v sat or minus v sat because because in absence of any feedback any small voltage can drive this op amp to positive or negative saturation instantly so first of all we will consider the case when v input is sorry when v input is less than v reference then what happens so if v input is less than v reference then the output voltage will be at minus v set because v reference is uh, greater than and it is connected at the negative end so output will be minus v set <coughs> because the voltage at inverting input is higher than that at uh, non inverting input and similarly when v input is greater than v reference 
then opposite condition appears the output voltage will be at plus v set thus uh, the output voltage changes from one saturation level to another saturation level whenever v input is approximately equal to v reference or we can say comparator is a type of analog to digital converter generally what is happening here we are providing a sine wave input here as shown in the input waveform and in turn what happens when uh, it uh, the output is either minus v set uh, initially it is at minus v set and as we um, input increases the v reference voltage instantly what happens the um, this is positive one this is negative one here v reference is negative so uh, first of all i will uh, discuss this waveform first uh, this is the input waveform here i have plotted this this is the uh, v input waveform and i have drawn two lines v reference here this and the, uh, the points where V reference cuts this wave, I have drawn lines like this. Why I have made these lines? Because the, wherever the point where V reference is approximately in, uh, equal to V input, uh, that is the main changing state changing point of the output. So. Uh, when uh, till v input is less than v reference the output voltage we get minus v set as the v as v input in exceeds v reference what happens at once the output state changes from minus v set to plus v set then what happens the uh, wave changes from here it increases it peaks up and then it decreases starts decreasing uh, till this point the um, reference voltage is less than v input so there is no change in state and we get a straight line when this position comes here v input is again uh, equal to v reference and after this position just after this v input becomes slightly less than v reference so what happens instantly as v reference is greater the state changes to minus v set and then because the signal is uh, decreasing and then it turns negative and it then it starts increasing till here till this point the output voltage will be uh, minus v set and at again at this position v reference is approximately equal to v input and after that uh, v input increases v reference so again here at that at this point state changes to plus v set and the process continues in such a way if the reference voltage is here in this case the reference voltage was positive we can also take the reference voltage as negative so then in that case we will draw reference line below this uh, main zero line below this here I have drawn and in that case also again we can see the similar pattern is observed we get a square wave. So what we can say we can say a comparator changes an analog signal to a digital signal or we can say that it is an analog to digital converter and it finds its application in that uh, in those instruments at any times it tells us whether v input is greater or less than v reference it is also called a voltage level detector because uh, for a desired value of v reference the voltage level of the input v vin can be detected now this is the basic principle of the comparator uh, simply we have to connect two input voltages 
one is known to us and other is unknown to us and then we can by observing the output voltage we can decide whether the input voltage is higher than or lower than the reference voltage and we can change easily the analog signal to digital signal now we'll be discussing why we have connected the two diodes so here figure in figure the diodes d1 and d2 protect the op amp from damage due to excessive input voltage v input uh, by connecting d1 and d2 what happens the uh, because we have directly connected v input and v reference so condition can easily may occur where v reference and v input are equal and in that case the input voltage will become zero that may uh, that may lead to excessive flow of current in the op amp and that may lead to damage of the operational amplifier so uh, in order to avoid it we generally uh, put d1 two diodes d1 and d2 uh, by the help of d1 and d2 uh, the difference of the voltage between them is uh, drops is never zero it is uh, the uh, minimum voltage between the two ends is always 0.7 volts uh, uh, because of the diodes so because of these diodes the differential input voltage of the op amp is clamped to either 0.7 volt or minus 0.7 volt you can see both the diodes are uh, connected in opposite manner one is forward biased and then other is reverse biased so uh, for one cycle uh, one diode acts and for the other cycle another diode can act so these diodes are also called clamp diode because they clamp the input voltage to either 0.7 volts or minus 0.7 volts some of the op amps do have built in protection for this uh, so in that uh, op amps we do not require any diodes the resistance r in the series with v input is used to limit the current through d1 and d2 uh, they can because d diodes can also be get damaged because of the excess flow of the current so Uh, additional resistor is connected in the circuit in order to uh, help protect diodes from excessive current flow to reduce offset problem a resistor r is connected between minus uh, inverting and reference voltage and because of offset voltage may introduce any um, small voltage and that may also drive uh, the output to uh, saturation level to reduce it we can uh, always a resistor is connected between reference voltage and the input if the reference voltage is negative with respect to ground with the sinusoidal signal applied to positive input the output waveform will be as shown in figure c so c here this is the reference voltage is negative and uh, the um, input voltage is positive in that case we get uh, a square wave but uh, of different form so don't think that this is unsymmetrical because i have made diagram uh, a little bit i have not made a symmetrical uh, sine wave that's why i am not getting a symmetrical square wave if we are taking a symmetrical sine wave then and through proper graph we can see we get a symmetrical square wave also so for this case what happens when v input is greater than v reference in that case v not is plus v sat it is opposite to that what we have discussed before and then v input is less than v reference then v not is equal to minus v sat the amplitude of v input must be large enough to pass through v reference if the switching action is to take place now one thing this is very important that if we want a switching to take place what is necessary 
this is necessary that v input the value of v input should be greater than v reference that means the by, by graph we can explain that v reference should cut the uh, v input wave if it is not cutting uh, suppose v reference is lying here then what will happen v input wave will never reach v reference and there will be no variation produced or no switching action will take place so this is also uh, uh, taken into consideration and it is very important for switching action to take place now uh, sometimes we need a reference voltage uh, that is positive in nature and sometimes we need a reference voltage that is negative in nature now um, one thing is either you remove the positive battery and then you connect it in negative battery in uh, that this may uh, appear to be a tedious process for every time we do the experiment so uh, to remove this uh, we can always use a v reference by using a potentiometer along with it by the help of potentiometer we can easily supply uh, positive and negative volt uh, reference voltage to the op amp see in this diagram you can see reference voltage has been connected to positive plus vcc and minus vcc these two are the supply voltages that we already provide to for, for proper functioning of the op amp and we have connected a potentiometer to the positive and negative ends of the uh, dc power supply and the variable end of the uh, potentiometer has been connected to the reference voltage so in this way we get a reference voltage that can be changed from plus v set to minus v set easily so we can uh, keep it at any position and we can study the v input uh, uh, voltage as the here as the wiper is moved from minus vee v reference will be more negative and if it is moved towards minus uh, plus vcc then v reference will be more positive thus a v reference of desired amplitude and polarity can be obtained by simple adjusting this potentiometer so this is a simple way more better way to design a comparator now where do uh, we'll be discussing its application where are we using this comparator so first and foremost application is zero crossing detector in this we are detecting the voltage and here what is important v reference is set to zero so when uh, whenever the signal crosses that uh, this switching action takes place we can find that here v reference v input voltage has turned to zero second is the smith trigger it converts irregular shaped waveforms to a square wave or a pulse so it is a modified form of comparator which helps in conversion uh, obtaining square wave or a pulse uh, or, or using any irregular shaped waveform it has two voltage levels uh, upper threshold voltage and lower threshold voltage now for comparator to work uh, in a better way what is necessary that we'll be discussing three points are very necessary for a comparator to work in a an efficient way that is a speed of operation its accuracy and compatibility of the output see if comparator action is not taking place fast then switching action will not be fast and then we'll get a slight waveform Uh, will not get a pure square wave so it is necessary for a comparator to switch uh, from one state to another instantly now will
so i was discussing that the output of the comparator must switch rapidly between saturation levels and also respond instantly to any change of the condition at its input this implies that bandwidth of the op-amp comparator must be rather wide so higher bandwidth higher speed of operation and speed of operation of the comparator is also improved if positive feedback is used these are some of the things that should be considered while uh, designing a comparator also the accuracy of the comparator depends on voltage gain cmrr input offset and thermal drifts so all these should also be considered uh, if we have a high voltage gain then uh, it requires small difference voltage so that output voltage switch between saturation levels uh, so what uh, this what does this mean this means if we are taking high voltage gain then the switching will be easier and fast if we take high cmr or cmr it helps to reject common mode signal and uh, the noise signal and offset problem may also be reduce uh, these can be offset problems can be reduced by considering input offset and thermal drifts temperature variation mm, uh, these should be minimized so that we get a proper uh, square wave and in a proper way so the this is all about a comparator next we'll be discussing a triangular wave generator now triangular wave generator can be made in two by two way, using two waves one is the, by using square wave generator followed by an integrator and second is the comparator followed by an integrator we'll discuss one of the this um, and in the next lecture thank you